Today on Golf 360, we visit the revitalized Royal Fox Country Club in St. Charles, Illinois. We'll show you some great new golf shoes at the PGA Tour Superstore. The Illinois PGA checks in with some solid mid-season instruction. We'll take a trip to the Mitten and see Northern Michigan's wonderful golf. And we chat with Loyola University head basketball coach Porter Moser about his love of the Lynx. Welcome to another edition of Golf 360 right here on NBC Sports Chicago. Today, we're at the fully renovated Royal Fox Country Club in St. Charles. This place truly has it all. From its elegant clubhouse to its inspiring Dick Nugent designed golf course that has hosted the Illinois Open seven times. We are here at Royal Fox Country Club in St. Charles with Brian Tolk, who is the general manager of this place and the Grove. Brian, this is an impressive place. You've had some revitalization going on here. Explain to me what's going on here at Royal Fox Country Club. Well, under new ownership, uh, April of 2017, and we've done a $1.5 million renovation to the lower level of our clubhouse, which then started a million dollar renovation of the golf course. You saw our new men's locker room, fitness center, pro shop, ladies locker room, and uh, we've got a, a, a nice amenity in the men's grill as well. All right, and upstairs I saw a nice bar, dining room, and a lot of rooms, I guess, to host things as well. You, I guess you have a lot of parties here? Do our, our full banquet hall. Uh, we have the ability to have a banquet up to 250 people upstairs in the saloon, also with our veranda room with a few other private, private rooms as well. But what is a golfer gonna see when he steps on the first tee? Well, you've got a challenging golf course here. Wonderful piece of property. We've also got a very sporty course, would probably be the best way to describe it. Uh, plays very long. Uh, it, it can play very hard when the greens are nice and slick, uh, but it, it is definitely a player's playground. So what's the feel out here? Are both nines the same or two nines different? We've got a small stretch, uh, holes 12 through 17. On the back nine, we refer to as the gauntlet. It's definitely the, the toughest part of the golf course. All right, what are some of the signature holes here? What's something, when somebody walks off this golf course, they're gonna go, wow. Holes, holes number three, uh, it comes right out of a shoot. Uh, it's challenging for, for any player, especially the, the long hitter. Uh, number 17, the par threes, number eight, uh, are also very, very picturesque par threes. And this uh, wonderful golf course has some good history with the Illinois Open as well? St hosted seven out of the last 11 Illinois Opens. Uh, we do have the Illinois Senior Open here this year. Uh, hopefully we'll have the Illinois Open here down again in the future. All right, we are here with Matt Lohman, who was in charge of rebuilding all the bunkers here at Royal Fox Country Club. What all did you have to do to, to get them all this beautiful? And, and they, they look amazing out here. Oh, thanks. Um, what we did was is we basically rebuilt them because they were at the end of their life cycle. Uh, the sand was pretty inconsistent and contaminated. So we took all that and buried that and then rebuilt it uh, with a new aggregate liner underneath and a new uh, angular sand as you see behind us, very white and in very good contrast. Did you add any add any bunkers? What else did you do? Did you, did you raise any bunkers, lower any bunkers, anything like that? For the most part, we just updated them in the same spot. We did remove a few bunkers. Uh, we added a few here and there that were you know, somewhere out of play. But for the most part, we you, you see that they're flashed a little bit more so you can see them as far as visibility. Uh, and we updated them with, with the new materials so they're more consistent. We actually added a good deal of drainage out here too. Um, there, there were some areas in here that were, were were pretty flat, not draining very well. Uh, we added several catch basins and several uh, linoleum feet of pipe uh, to improve the playability out here uh, as you know, we tie into the bunkers. All right, how does this course compare to other ones in this area? Well, uh, we're standing here on the 18th hole and it's probably one of the, the better finishing holes in the Chicago land area. Um, it's got a great location, very accessible, uh, great piece of property. Um, and I think it, it, even though Brian had mentioned that it's, it's challenging, it's also a very playable golf course for the average golfer. All right, Brian, in today's landscape of golf, it's, it's, it's a tough market, you know, to, to get memberships, to maintain memberships. How do you guys uh, keep this place running and keep it going as well as it is? Well, when our owners came in April 2017, they wanted to maintain the traditions of a private club, but also be innovative and appeal to new members. We have the Grove Country Club in Long Grove, formerly Hillcrest Country Club. Uh, as a member at the Royal Fox, you have full access to another great club up in Long Grove. So this year, between the two clubs, we've added almost 100 members. And, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to have access to two fine facilities. Royal Fox Country Club is a world-class facility. If I lived in the western suburbs, this would be the place I would join. All right, up next, we have a helpful putting tip from the Illinois PGA. And then we're going to take an in-depth look at a bunch of stylish golf shoes at the PGA Tour Superstore. So stay with us.
your favorite players. The ultimate ticket. The top 70 players in the world. And the BMW Championship visits Madonna Country Club August 13th through 18th, 2019. Right in the heat of the PGA Tours FedEx Cup playoffs. Tiger, beautiful. Tiger's tied for the lead. Exclusive ticket packages are now available for Chicago's biggest golf event of the year. Visit BMWChampionship.com today. This season, tee it up at Cantini Golf in Wheaton. Our spectacular 27 holes are complemented by the Cantini Golf Academy and a nine-hole course just for kids. At Cantini, you can even hire a caddy. Join the Red Oak Club to earn rewards or check out Cantini's young executive program for golfers 39 and under. Come see what golf was meant to be. Come savor the Cantini experience. Book a tee time today at cantinigolf.com. Welcome back into Golf 360. We are here at the PGA Superstore in Schaumburg. This place is huge and awesome and has everything for your golf needs. As you can tell, we are in the shoe section here and we are with the resident shoe expert, Mike Ginter. Mike, run us through some of these shoes we have here. I think when I grew up, there was only maybe three or four different pair you can buy. As you yeah. can see behind us, there's <laughs> hundreds, a hundred? Oh, yeah, okay. close to at least, yeah. Well, let's run through some of the different types of shoes, maybe the yeah. best sellers and the different features they have. Yeah, of course. Um, so what we got here is the Echo Biome Hybrid 3. Um, it's a great shoe, price point around $200. Um, just to start off, we got an upper here. It's made out of yak leather, um, so it's gonna be very breathable, uh, good in any condition, uh, hot, cold, dry, wet. Um, really gonna have that waterproof in there. Have an extra layer of Gore-Tex, which is inner lining membrane here. So it's gonna make it from a two-year waterproof to a three-year. Um, gonna get a lot of performance out of that. We got the uh, outsole here, which is a very good traction shoe compared to the last year's model. Um, you're gonna get a little more uh, stability, uh, flexibility, and durability. So it's gonna last longer, gonna dig into the grass a little more. Um, it's just overall a great performance shoe. Um, something that you want on the course when it's wet conditions if you're playing in the morning with dew. Um, but yeah, that's a great shoe to have um, any kind of condition. So that's one of my favorites. All right, um, what else we got? So we got the Foot Joy Pro SL, another popular shoe here. Um, again, another spikeless design. Uh, one of my favorite shoes actually, more athletically uh, styled. Um, fits really well, very comfortable in the heel. Um, again, spikeless probably around 200 uh, ground contact points on here. So you're really gonna get the traction that you need. Again, another two-year waterproof shoe. Um, a lot of play uh, tour players are playing this right now, like Ian Poulter, Adam Scott. Spikeless is definitely gonna be a lot lighter too. Um, easier on your feet over time, won't fatigue as well uh, much as a spike shoe, but again, one of my favorite shoes. So we got the uh, Nike Fast Fit here. Um, so again, it's gonna be a little different, no laces here. Um, pretty much as a little uh, red pull tab. Um, you're gonna do that to unloosen it. Open it up with your fingers right there, put your foot in, and you're gonna pull this tab, then tighten it. It's a lot easier and more convenient if you're coming from work, going right up to the course. Um, you can put these shoes right on and get to going. Don't need to tie your shoe, and a lot easier to adjust. You know, if you're in the middle of a shot, you need to readjust the tightness. Um, again, you get the spikes, so it's gonna have a little bit of traction, but um, it's a very popular, uh, new shoe that just came out, so. Um, hopefully they can get some good sales out of it. Again, Tiger Woods won the Masters, obviously, so that really helps. I hope you've heard of someone. Some we might have. Heard so of. you mentioned earlier the Boa system, so this yeah. non, you know, lace system. So yeah. a lot of shoes are going to that now. Yeah, a lot of shoes. Um, Echo, Foot Joy, Puma has them. Even Adidas, Nike doesn't have them, but this is kind of their version of that Boa system. Again, just a lot easier to get into, a lot more convenience. We have the Adidas. Um, uh, 460 XT. Um, this is again very comfortable shoe. I know you told me you liked yeah, it. Yeah, I love that. Um, one. You got the boost right here in the midsole, going to give you a lot of comfort. Um, going to rebound as you play and you walk. So throughout the whole round, you're playing maybe one or two rounds, it's going to give you that comfort um, the whole round. You get the uh, XT here traction. Again, this is with the spike, comes with spikeless as well. Um, but again, it gives you around 200 uh, ground contacts uh, right on here. Um, again, they come in, again, white and black with the stripes, um, full black. Uh, it's uh, genuine leather, so it's giving you waterproof as well. 
So you have mentioned spikeless and spike. Do you mm -hmm. recommend that for a certain type of player, or is it just personal preference? Yeah, again, personal preference goes into uh, play there. Um, more spike shoe if it's wet conditions. Again, you're going to be a little slip, you know, going to slip a little bit. Um, I personally like the spikeless, just easier to walk into, more of a uh, up and coming kind of design. But again, more personal preference. You could, uh, I have one of both, you know, spike and spikeless. So, yeah, so any type of condition, wet, dry, you know, cold, you know, hot. It just depends on the player. Well, Mike, thanks very much. Yeah. If you need your new shoes, get your new shoes. Get them here at the PGA Superstore and come see Mike. He'll get you fitted for your perfect shoes, spikeless or spiked. And uh, come by the PGA Superstore here in Schaumburg. There's one in Vernon Hills and Downers, Downers Grove. Grove as well. It's time to improve your game with tips from the pros. Brought to you by the Illinois PGA and Tour Edge. My name is Kelsey Staley and I am a PGA professional and I am also an assistant golf professional at Royal Fox Country Club located in St. Charles, Illinois. Um, today I'm at the Tour Edge headquarters and I'm going to give you a couple tips on putting and chipping. So let's get right into it. So my tip for putting is when you set up you want the ball to be directly under your left eye. So a way that you can check that is you're going to set up, you're going to have a golf ball nearby like in your pocket. And when you set up, you're going to take it and you're going to drop it directly from your left eye and you're going to pay attention to where it falls. So if I'm set up here and the ball falls on the outside, you could be standing too close to the ball. If it falls between my feet and the ball on the ground, you're standing too far away. And the other two things that can happen is if the ball falls on the left or the right side of the ball that's on the ground, then you just need to adjust your ball position. So let's get set up here. And I'm going to check my position, so dropping it from my left eye. And so that means you got the perfect setup. So I hope this setup tip helps you make more putts. And if you still need additional help or more tips, contact your local Illinois PGA professional. The BMW Championship is getting ready to bring the PGA Tour's top 70 players to Chicago's premier tournament course at Medina Country Club. The demanding Tom Bendelow layout has hosted numerous prestigious championships, including three U.S. Opens, two PGA Championships, and most recently the 2012 Ryder Cup. Some players expected to participate in this FedEx Cup playoff event are three-time major winner Brooks Kepka, Tiger Woods, who won two PGAs at Medina, the sweet-swinging Rory McIlroy, lefty Phil Mickelson, and fan favorite Ricky Fowler. You can stand in awe at the one-of-a-kind Medina Clubhouse, which is unprecedented in the game of golf and serves as an iconic treasure. Supported by the Western Golf Association, the Evans Scholars are the key benefactor of the tournament. Since 1930, the foundation has awarded over 11,000 deserving caddies full tuition and housing in this unbelievable scholarship program. Always great when the big boys are in town, especially when they tee it up at the iconic Medina Country Club. Next on the tee, we head over to Michigan to see a few incredible tracks, including the new South Course at Arcadia Bluffs. So stick around. Can I try that new injected twist face driver that DJ's hitting? A tailor made M6. Just give me a second to prep the bay and we'll get you custom fit. DJ's M6? You know my M5 is injected too, right? It's spicy fast. All right, your bay's ready to go. I also want to try the spicy M5. PGA Tour Superstore has the hottest products from the best brands, in store or online at pgatoursuperstore.com. Welcome back to Golf 360. Michigan is truly one of the top golf states in all of America. Let's head over to Northern Michigan with our Dave Lockhart and discover how great it is. Let's start our adventure at Crystal Mountain, a four season family resort that boasts a quaint village with shopping and a number of dining options. 
but 36 holes of golf is a traditional parkland style where both tracks have received a prestigious four-star rating from Golf Digest magazine. Uh, we host the Michigan Women's Open on the Mountain Ridge Golf Course. That is truly our tournament golf course. Uh, very generous fairways, uh, big greens, rolling, got a little more elevation change than, uh, than the Betsy Valley. The Betsy Valley was the first course here at Crystal Mountain. And it is uh, a resort golf course with some target golf, a lot of uh, water early on, a little smaller greens. I think it's a little more challenging. In recent years, the resort has undergone a number of improvements and updates, making it one of the top places to stay in Northern Michigan. I think the reason people gravitate to Crystal Mountain is because we are out in the in God's country. It is so pristine up here. The air is clean. Uh, there's no noise. Not far away along the Lake Michigan coastline, you'll find a prestigious daily fee course that's ranked number one in the state by Golf Week magazine for places that you can play. This is Arcadia Bluffs Golf Course here in northern Michigan on the beautiful shores of Lake Michigan. This is a beautiful golf course, a Lynx experience unlike you've seen before. It's so much fun, you almost feel like you're in Ireland or Scotland or somewhere across the ocean. Exhilarating shots are par for the course here at Arcadia Bluffs. There is beauty and precision that is required on every shot. Designed by world-renowned instructor Rick Smith and architect Warren Henderson, the layout is now in the midst of celebrating its 20th anniversary. It truly resembles a seaside links course with rolling terrain, natural fescues, vast greens that will test your putting skills, and deep bunkering. Great shot here by Lefty Dave. Just down the road is the brand new Arcadia Bluff South Course. This is a true Lynx experience with firm turf where the wind is definitely part of your strategy. It plays like chess on an athletic field where you have to think as well as perform. It's modeled after one of the oldest clubs in the United States, Chicago Golf in Wheaton. Designed by Dana Fry and Jason Straka, features include square, sharp edge greens with a variety of bunkers over a generally flat parcel of land. It's old school with a modern twist. The South is so much fun to play and is the perfect complement to the original Bluffs course. Up in the charming area of Glen Arbor is Manitou Passage Golf Club. This Arnold Palmer tree line design provides plenty of shot values on an undulated secluded parcel of land providing that serene up north feel. You know, the name Arnold Palmer obviously carries a lot of weight in the game of golf um, and it, it brings in a lot of, I think, people that wouldn't always come right away. I think when you see it's a Palmer signature course that really gives you kind of a leg up over the competition and getting uh, the customer through the door. A must do in visiting the area is to explore Sleepy Bear Dunes National Park. It's 1,000 feet down at a 45 degree angle to Lake Michigan, which is fairly easy to do. But trying to see if you can conquer the climb back is the real challenge. Not far away is the Homestead, America's freshwater resort, a perfect place to chill for a few days. The overall experience has fantastic dining choices and the setting on the lakefront with glorious sunsets are pure Michigan. Get up to Northern Michigan this year and enjoy a wide array of outstanding golf. Coming up next, we have a solid swing tip from our friends at the Illinois PGA, and we meet Loyola head basketball coach, Porter Moser, who has a love for the Lynx just like we do. So stay tuned. Creating a revolutionary product starts by asking, what if? What if we loaded every inch with game-changing innovation? What if we had a flight tuning system to control ball flight, roll face and cup face technologies for explosive power, slipstream sole technology for more speed, and dual carbon tech with eight adjustable loft settings? And what if all this technology and performance costs significantly less than the competition? Exotics EXS by Tour Edge. Pound for pound, nothing else comes close. This season, tee it up at Cantini Golf in Wheaton. Our spectacular 27 holes are complemented by the Cantini Golf Academy and a nine hole course just for kids. At Cantini, you can even hire a caddy. Join the Red Oak Club to earn rewards or check out Cantini's young executive program for golfers 39 and under. Come see what golf was meant to be. Come savor the Cantini experience. 
Book a tee time today at CantiniGolf.com. It's time to improve your game with tips from the pros, brought to you by the Illinois PGA and Tour Edge. Hi, I'm Lewis Sauer from Lewis Sauer Golf, and today we're here with Patrick Manley talking about how to improve your game away from the golf course. And two of the more common errors that the amateur golfer makes, go ahead and hold on to it, is they tend to try to lift the golf ball in the air, and when they get to the top of the swing, they come out. So we're going to use this speed bomber to kind of teach you how to swing the golf club a little bit more, we'll call it around you, and then because of the weight of the rope, you're going to see your hands and arms uh, go through the ball the correct way. Okay. So go ahead and swing it back and through continuously without hitting the ground and just swing back through. Good. Now, if you take that from the top and move towards me and you'll feel the weight of the rope. Go ahead and Yeah. You feel how that sure. feels real different? And then this time, just go ahead and scoop it this time. You feel how the weight of the rope takes it? So. The most important part of your practice isn't how many balls you get up, it's creating a motion that you can repeat and have a feel for. So the speed bomber not only helps you increase your speed, but also the positioning. And the most important part of that is building a swing where you're not having to think about how to do it. You know, like turn your shoulder, slide your hips, you know, all the things that people are told to do. This puts you into motion. So go ahead and just give me a couple more swings and go as fast as you can on each swing. Good. Now, do you, can you feel the, the rhythm of that, too? It's like you're not going too fast because the rope won't allow for it, like where you're trying to overuse your arms. Feel that. Yeah. And it's a, great, it's a great exercise that you can do at home. It's, like I said, there's a lot of times people spend hundreds of balls on the range, and they don't really know what they walked away with. With this, you're going to build a consistent swing without having to think about all the things that go into a golf swing. Thanks. Make sense? Thank you, Lewis. That was great. All right, it was about a year and a half ago when Loyola University shocked the college basketball world and made it all the way to the Final Four. Head coach Porter Moser has been the man changing the culture with the Ramblers, but he also has a love for the game of golf just like me. Dave Lockhart caught up with the Naperville native at Wilmot Golf Club. Golf, tell us a little bit about your golf game. Well, there's not much to say. I, mean, I wish I was better. Um, I love it. I just, I just don't get a chance to get out as much. But I, I absolutely love it. And um, I played a lot when I was younger. I love the camaraderie of it. I love going with some buddies and, you know, dri walking around, driving around, talking. You know, just getting away, feeling the breeze. And um, I love that. I, I love the competition of it. You know, that um, for me to try to get better at it and. And me and coaching, I know I got to practice. I mean, it, but it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. I still get mad when I miss a shot. I'm like, but I know better that I got to practice if I expect to get that shot. We measure ourselves, <laughs> golfers, by handicap. So if one's to ask you, what would your handicap be? Can you give us a number, roughly? Um, I shoot for the mid 90s. If I can, that's what I'm shooting for. If I, I, the other day, if I can get in the, you know, 95 to 100. Um, that's the area. I always seem to get like two or three penalty strokes. <laughs> that's what gets me. I, I, uh, it seems I'll, I'll hit a good shot, one or two, but then I'll always have that one shot that costs me every every hole. You have a favorite place that you like to play in Chicago or golf destination of somewhere? Uh, give us kind of an insight into that. A little. I will say this: I do have a, I, I, I have a, a great golf story. When you bring that up, I was the head coach of Arkansas Little Rock at age 32. And Warren Stevens and Joe Ford. Joe Ford was the CEO of Altel. He's the one that actually put the green jacket on Tiger, Joe Ford. And they called me up and they they go, do you wanna you wanna go to Augusta and go golfing uh, for two days? And I'm like, sure. I really didn't deserve that. And uh, he goes, we're gonna pick. Um, I'm gonna pick you up. Meet me in my private plane in the in the hangar there in Little Rock. And he goes, we're gonna go with um, my buddy Pat and his son. So I get on the plane and I I walk in the on the private plane and it's Pat Summerall. So we flew with Pat and his son, Luke. We went to Augusta. I stayed in Butler's cabin, which is nuts. I mean, you have the TV or the, the chimney, or the, the fireplace. If you pan the camera to the right, there's one bedroom. That's where I stayed for two days. It was the most incredible. What else is special about the game that draws you in a little bit? Is there any comparisons at all to basketball with ball? Well, the one thing that the, the comparison in my mind is, is putting and free throws. 
like you see a, a four or five foot putt and when there's a little pressure on it, it's different because your mind starts playing games. And there, there's always a saying, you know, talk to yourself, don't listen to yourself. You know, that's the thing, you talk to yourself, I'm gonna make this, I got this, instead of listening to all the demons. You know, you always, I, I relate that to free throw shooting. You gotta talk to yourself, you know, you gotta, you know, stay positive. Yeah, do you have any favorite players or favorite golf stories you can share with us? Well, obviously, like everybody, we got caught up in the, when the, the Phil and Tiger rivalry at their prime. That was just riveting, you know, to see Tiger and how good he was. But I have an unbelievable golf story about pro golf. So I grew up in Naperville, and a lifelong friend, Phil Escala, who's the head basketball coach at Lake Forest High School, he used to caddy. And remember the Western Open back then, you, you couldn't bring your own caddies. So they had like a lottery. So Phil was, um, we were seniors in high school and Phil drew like the fifth pick at the Western Open and he selected Tom Kite. And so on the day four, he was in the running and Phil was trying to caddy all summer to, uh, to earn money to pay for college. And here is Tom Kite in the thing. So we're all at his dad's house, his dad's got a barbecue, we're watching on CBS Sports and Tom Kite hits the putt to win the Western Open and the first person he hugs is Phil, his caddy, who's our lifelong friend. And man, Tom Kite gave him everything in his bag, gave him a big check to pay for, basically paid for his first year of college. And Tom Kite became our favorite golfer at that time. Some cool stuff there from Coach. We wish him luck with his golf game and to the Ramblers to having a successful season. All right, and we appreciate you watching us from the gorgeous Royal Fox Country Club right here in St. Charles, Illinois. Believe me, all the renovations here are exceptional. Also, you can follow us here at Golf360 on Instagram, Facebook, and at linksvideo.net. So long, and I'll see you out on the course. Clothing for Golf 360 TV provided by PGA Tour Apparel and the Golden Bear Jack Nicklaus. Play legendary golf at French Lick Resort, the only place in the country where you can play courses by two Hall of Fame designers on the same property. Our Pete Dye and Donald Ross courses offer two very different challenges. Experience them both and save with our Hall of Fame package. Our two historic hotels are unique as well. Cap it off with a fun visit to the French Lick Casino. Check us out online at FrenchLick.com. Bring a group and save even more. Play legendary golf this season at French Lick Resort. The ultimate test. The top 70 players in the world. A legendary course as the BMW Championship and the PGA Tours FedEx Cup playoffs come to Medina Country Club. August 13th through the 18th, 2019. Drips over the front edge. McElroy suddenly within three. New dates, new course. Exclusive ticket packages are now available to get up close for every shot at Chicago's biggest golf event of the year. Visit BMWChampionship.com today.